Sanctuary Engagement Manager here at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. For those of you guys who have not been to the sanctuary before, we are located in Kanab, Utah, so we're in southern Utah, spread out over 6,000 acres and typically have around 1,600 animals. So this is more than just, you know, cats and dogs. We have bunnies, we have parrots, we have pigs, horses, goats, we even have a wildlife rehab center. But today we are live in Dogtown HQ to celebrate Giving Tuesday. So Giving Tuesday is one of the most largest fundraising days for nonprofit organizations. And we are so lucky to have donors that are actually tripling the match today. So if you donate 10 bucks, you know, click that button on your screen, donate $10, it's gonna turn into $30 just like that. Let's go inside and see some of our adoptable animals and see where your donations are actually going to. And by the way, if you guys stick with us through the whole video, you have a very special, cute surprise at the end. She lives with other dogs or can live with other dogs. But right now she's right here until somebody says, I need her and want her. And if you're interested in adopting her, you're more welcome to reach out to me. Again, it's the laundries. <laughs> Any of the dogs you see today are available on adopt.bestfriends.org. All of our adoptions are also fee waived for the rest of this month, too. So basically, Poco is free. <laughs> so come right this way, and we have another puppy to meet. Hello, here's Paige. This is Regale. He is about five and a half months old. Um, he came <laughs> from a case in New Mexico, Bernalillo, uh, excuse me, um, a boarding case. So he was one, well, he wasn't born yet, but we brought about 30 dogs here that were all living in one house. One of them being his mom and probably his dad somewhere in the mix. Um, so his mom is luxurious, who is available for adoption. Um, she's as wild as he is, <laughs> just loves life. But um, yeah, a few days after they arrived at the sanctuary, uh, they were born. Luxurious was really emaciated herself, so they had a C-section, and she wasn't really in shape to take care of the puppies, so they were model fed. So Vigali was model fed for about three days old. <laughs> um, he's been through a lot, I think, because he didn't have his mom's milk. He had some URI symptoms, he had a skin condition, and we recently discovered he has um, something wrong with his kitty, which um, <laughs> you can't tell at all. He's just as wild as any other puppy. Um, he's been in foster, thankfully, from a staff member who's, you know, he's joined their pack. He loves other dogs. Oh, he just comes to <laughs> He is a wild child, so his condition will, might shorten his lifespan, but he is still just living his best life <laughs> in Foster. He's a crazy boy. And how many puppies do we have here right now, do you think? In the sanctuary? Yeah, in the sanctuary. Probably between 45 and 50. Um, we just picked up 20 new puppies last oh week gosh. from Arizona that are like about <laughs> five weeks old um, that didn't come in with a mom, and then we have moms with two-week-old puppies, and. Just the whole gamut. We had 11 puppies that were born on Friday the 13th that just oh turned six gosh. weeks old. They're all named after aliens, so they'll be available soon. And you work in the puppy. Oh, yeah, I'm a caregiver at Puppy Admissions, which is really fun. We see all the babies come in and get to name them. So if you have any fun ideas for litter themes, feel free to post it in the chat. Um, yeah, and Regale is available for adoption. If you think he might just be a perfect addition <laughs> to your life, he has a lot of energy. This is really him. Most of the day, you know? <laughs> he's, he's just a wild child. Yeah. He loves to play around and take naps in the sun. He does eventually <laughs> calm down. Good boy. Yeah. He really liked wearing a sweater when he was a lot smaller just to stay warm because he's so thin coated. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And we also still have a lot of his relatives available for adoption across the sanctuary. So you'll see like Pink, Pink Princess, Silver Sword. Pink Princess. Yeah, they're all named after health plants. You want to see the people? Go yeah. see them. Go see them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what an army crawl. Kitty? Okay. Kitty? Kitty's a good boy. Yeah, so he is really thankful to be here and to be given this good shot. And was he from?
from uh, one of my network partners or another? Um, it was a oh, you said case. It was a it was a case. Yeah. case. Yeah. So I think Best Friends was looped in to help out. Yeah. And oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you might wonder where we get some of our animals, and we do get them from you know the recording cases. We get them from our network partners. So those are um, small rescues and shelters all across the country that we work with. There's about four thousand. Um, <laughs> We get a lot of puppies from the Navajo Nation Reservation. Yeah, that too. Um, yeah, so your donation today it doesn't just help animals in southern Utah. It does help animals all across the country at our network partners. Um, and it does also help us get one step closer to, closer to No Kill 2025, which is our goal here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he has a heart. Oh, my God, he has a heart. <laughs> since he couldn't walk on the ground yet. Um, he was always just very wiggly and just happy to see the people. Um, even when he sees other dogs, too. He's excited to see them. <laughs> Does he have siblings here at the same time? Doesn't have any siblings. Or? He came solo. <laughs> He's going to be coming for this fight. <laughs> so you're a caregiver in Dogtown, but you also foster. Yes. So how does that tell you about that experience? Is it... A little extra rewarding to be able to come home to help more animals. It definitely is. Um, you know, it definitely, you know, being a caregiver does kind of take you know, a lot out of you for the day because you're walking other dogs and caring for them. But I still get to come home and I get to have my experiences with him and training and whatever I can do to help him get a fulfilled <laughs> life. And, you know, getting used to being around people and dogs and just beginning socialized. Mm -hmm. And so it's always a fun experience to have that. And he's He's an easy one to have. Like, not as <laughs> easy, easy like his hair, because he's definitely can be a little bit of a menace because he's a puppy, mm -hmm. so they're always exploring and they're trying new things. But he is just such a fun, fun little guy to have in my home. Will and he make a full recovery with his jaw, do they think? They're definitely hoping so. So he's actually gonna be getting some um, dental rads here in the next few days. So they're going to see the progress of his healing. And since he has new teeth growing in, those adult teeth, um, they're hoping that that's not going to cause any problems with the healing process that he's already had. So I'll get an update from that for him soon. But so far they said it's already, it's looking good. Um, but he does have to keep it on 24 seven. But he does try, even with the muscle, he tries to bite things. <laughs> he's puppy, he's teething. So normally for puppies, they usually have toys to chew on and other things to kind of help with the growth of their new teeth coming in. But he can't have that experience because of his broken jaw. So, oh, gosh. oh you want my bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi. He's very sweet oh, with people. Anybody who I've taken them to see, they're just like, can we adopt him? <laughs> I was oh, like, you yes. sure can. Yeah. <laughs> so for anyone who's just tuning in, we are live in downtown today for Giving Tuesday, and all donations are going to be triple matched. So make sure you hit that donate button. <laughs> Want to go say hi? Is that what you're trying to do? I think one of the coolest things too is, you know, you can't necessarily donate or you can't actually adopt. Fostering always helps rescue organizations. It's so helpful to be able to have foster families, so it's super cool that we do that. Yeah. It's, it's a blessing to have any type of foster. It's work, but it's, yeah. it's work that's... It's so worth it. it. It's yeah. worth Especially it. Especially when you see them go home to, yeah. like, you know, in a good loving family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, Susan? I 
so see these special little nuggets. <laughs> We're here at Dogtown headquarters, and now we're going to the offices. So we are here with Allie. She is our director of Dogtown. Hi, everyone. And she has some very we special guests here. here. With Steve and Dizzle. Oh so you may have gotten to see these guys in a post on our Facebook page earlier. And you just wanted to pop in and say thanks to everybody for all their support and donations. Is this Steve or Dizzle? This is Dizzle. Uh, she's our little wild child. They're about four weeks old. Um, and she is always kind of looking around, seeing what she can get into. What um, is, do you know what she, what her breed is? Or do you know anything about her? Yeah, so we, based off looks, are assuming that they're Frenchie mixes. They were abandoned. <laughs> Uh, in a park with no mom so we'll have to see what happens when they grow up but based off these little smush faces that's what we're assuming at this point so that's Dizzle and then over here sleeping sorry buddy oh, is our God. friend Steve so where do their names come from uh, so they are named after uh, Ah Real Monster so it was the month of October which is a 90s cartoon so um, we have another Frenchie who is named after cartoon characters and being Halloween and spooky season, we wanted to keep up with both of those trends. So that's where their names come from. He has the cutest little kissing spot on the top of his head oh. and then a little tiny spot on his bum. <laughs> <laughs> so that can also be like where his unicorn horn grows in. Exactly. <laughs> He's definitely the calmer of the two. So, but yeah. And so these guys will eventually be available for adoption. Yeah, so these guys are lucky enough to have uh, two staff members who are going to be adopting them okay. once they're old enough. <laughs> but yeah, we get dogs like this all the time. We have tons of puppies, as you guys got to see. Um, so if you're looking for that perfect puppy or perfect adult dog or senior, we have so many dogs here who are really looking for their home and would love to spend the holiday with you. And how do you see our adoptable animals if you're interested in adopting? Yeah, so if you're interested in adopting, uh, all our available animals are on our website. So you're able to go um, and see the dogs who we currently have available. So it's bestfriends.org slash adopt. Oh, hi. I know, buddy. Hi, look at that face. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. How old are they, did you say? So these guys are uh, just over four weeks old. And, and they, and have they don't have a mom, right? So you're bottle feeding them? Yes. Or? Are you hungry, buddy? Yeah, they've been with us since they were just a couple days old. So they were found with their umbilical cords oh still attached. So. Are they hungry? Do we get to watch them get fed? Yeah, are you hungry, bud? Allie, Let's I see. know that not only are you the director of Dogtown, but you are constantly fostering. And yes. what does it entail to foster? I mean, how often are you up at night <laughs> feeding these guys? <laughs> or how often do you sleep? So <laughs> yeah. these guys know they're on a really great schedule. So they get fed every six hours. So midnight and 6 a.m., which is very reasonable. Huh? For puppies who are a little bit older, um, it's less intensive. So they'll eat three to four times a day based off how old they are. But it doesn't um, have to be quite as evenly spaced out. Um, and then for our older dogs and seniors who are just looking for a soft place to lay their head, um, really it's just like any other dog and, you know, it's fun to see them grow in your home and learn all the things about home life and then see them go off to their adoptive home. Um, and we get a lot of updates, so it's really nice to see how they're doing. Hi, buddy. Oh, they're hungry. Yes. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> they are always ready and willing to eat. Oh. Hi, are you waiting for your turn? Are you waiting for your turn? Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. She oh, is definitely ready for her turn. Hi. Yeah. I'm surprised how quiet she's being. She, <laughs> she's very vocal and has a lot of opinions when he needs first. Oh. Okay, but we're going to Okay, it's time for your sister. There you go, buddy. You can go back to sleep. Look at that little dot. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. They're so <laughs> cute. It's ridiculous, actually. Oh. <laughs> yes. 
she's definitely uh, the more vigorous eater for sure. Oh. Oh go. my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So these guys also, they were tube fed for quite a while because they were unable to latch onto a bottle because of their mouth shape. So they're very happy to be able to eat out of a bottle now. Where do a lot of these little tiny puppies come from? Because it seems like we always have puppies here. Yeah. So we get puppies kind of from all over. So uh, most of them come from uh, our shelter partners. Uh, they're really hard to have in the shelter environment because they do need such constant care. So we do get a lot of requests for orphaned puppies and coming out of Navajo Nation, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah. Um, and we are always really happy to be able to help these guys. Looks like these guys don't need that much space. Just a little bin with a little heat, with a little heating pad here to keep them warm. They uh, they have an upgraded setup at home, so Aww. they have a little bit more That's space. Great. But yeah, they're. So I don't know. This looks pretty comfortable. It does look pretty comfortable. Aww. So yeah. Well, thanks for letting us meet these cuties, and thanks for fostering them, and thanks to everyone that's on this watching our Facebook Live right now and our Instagram Live. Just remember that your donations are triple matched today. So everything that you donate will be triple matched. $5 is $15, $100 is $300, and these guys really appreciate it.